So here we go, guys. So uh, when I'm when, when we're drawing these characters today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of um, teach you a little beginner trick that I I like to use. This is we're going to um, kind of manipulate this picture a little bit. I'm going to use a little red here and then we're just going to blow it up a little bit. All right. So what I like to do uh, when I'm drawing the picture is uh, I like to cut out these shapes here I don't need this okay let me do it again so you see here I'm gonna draw a line right under the eyes right over the eyebrows and I'm gonna cut this out okay once I cut it out then what I do I'm gonna use another color here maybe a blue here and then I come back and I say okay what is my shape my overall shape here Whoop, right there All right right there and right there okay and then this shape right here okay all right so the only part of this drawing that I'm going to then draw okay is going to be the blue shapes to get my head shape down okay so uh, let's pretend what we'll do here is we'll just go ahead and draw our bottom shape, which would be... So, I'll start from the ear shape. Okay. Then I'll come around. And I'll do my bottom shape. Okay. I want shape might be a little off there. Okay. Now, once I have that, then I'll come here and I'll draw my top shape. I'm not pick. I'm just mimicking the shapes that I see from the blue line. The red does not matter anymore. Okay, you see that? Now, once I do that, and I add my little neck in there, right? You can see I got a pretty good little caricature right there already. Okay. Then I'll come back. Let's downsize this here, and I'll go ahead and I'll start drawing these shapes here. One two three now a lot of people don't know about hair when they see these type of hairdos they don't know that they have to curve those lines like that because in other words you won't be able to get any depth to your hair so when i curve that line underneath this middle shape i want to come back and be like boom right and in this shape i want to come back here and just come down and in this shape i want to come over here and come down right so i got a pretty good little idea and if i want to add some more to it I can always add some more hair up there. No big deal, okay? All right. Now, let's go ahead and get to the main thing, which is the, the facial feature. So, what I what I like to do is I never draw myself into a corner, okay? So, once I draw my shape, I give my once I draw my, my line, I give myself a little bit of wiggle room to be able to manipulate. So, at the end of the picture, if I need to add some more hair lines here, that's why I never draw a definite line right here. I just draw like little hairs like you know what I mean like little strokes like this this way if I need to add more take off I can't I can always add more on the end of this I can always make it uh, thicker or smaller or whatever I want by not committing to a shape now even with my eye shapes I'm learning how to do this now so if we if we zoom in on our eye shapes right what I want what I like to do is this okay watch so I'm doing my eye shapes in one two and I'm really drawing that 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 fold over the eye right there so I might do something like this first now once I start drawing the eye what I'll do here is I'll draw the bottom of the eye like a curve right and then I'll come in and connect it in but you see what I haven't done I haven't committed my whole shape yet I'm really only drawing the eyeballs so now you see what I'm saying I could come back and do this and once I feel like I got the eye like I want to you see from here if I'm off a little bit with my angle or anything, I can always add to this side of the eye and make and I can and I can make it look like more angled. Whatever I want to do, I can I can um, change it still, even though I'm drawing with a marker. Okay. Hey, how are you, Emmanuel? Welcome to the family. <laughs> Glad to have you. All right. 
Okay, so um, from here, what I can do now is I can, since I'm, I'm pretty okay with that shape, now I can come here and make some little lines off the side to kind of close it in. But I never commit all the way to a closed line because I feel that that makes very flat features, okay? Now, once I have that right there, now let me give you an example of this. You see where I, see how these eyebrows kind of come way in? And here, I don't have enough eyebrow in here like I want. So what I can do now is because I haven't committed is I can come back and I can say, oh, I want to do something like this. Now you can see that one little thing that I did there was able, I was able to get more and actually give him almost a unibrow, which is what it kind of looks like he has. But that's a little bit, you know, a little caricature trick there, okay? All right. So now we'll come back to our nose shape. So we'll come over here, right? I might add the, the in between the bridge. And then with my nose shape, I do the same thing. I never really want to commit to the shape so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll say okay what does that nose overall feel like and I might draw instead of drawing an entire nose what I like to do most of the time is just go ahead and mimic the shape with one shape like they do in a real cartoon if you ever watch cartoons like any kind of cartoon on TV you don't see any of these defined noses that you that you see some caricatures try to draw because that kind of frustrates you a little bit so I, I'll, I'll do this right here right see that and as long as it kind of fits within what I want to do I can see the overall shape then I can kind of make my little shape in the middle like I want that looks great uh, I don't really need to do much more than that once again I don't do a whole lot of committing lines now from here I just go ahead and I know his mouth is a he has a small mouth so I might do like this now also if you look here you see this this line here how it curves and this one curves you see what I did? I'm using that kind of like my cheek structure to make give a little bit of smile to my character. Because you can't draw exactly what you see in the picture because if you do that, let me put it like this. There are, there's rules to drawing cartoons and then there's rules to drawing portrait stuff. And you can't draw uh, a cartoon using the same lines that you see in a portrait. You have to do something else to the lines and the picture itself is not going to give you the information you have to know how to you you have to see what it looks like here and then understand how to interpret that almost like speaking a different language if you will you know what i'm saying i can say hey i saw you yesterday okay then i can say yo te veo ayer i saw you yesterday that's in spanish it's two different ways of speaking you get what i'm saying <laughs> right <laughs> all right so uh now we'll add some lips whoop whoop right and then we'll add these right see that now what makes him look a lot like him when you do when you're looking at this whole picture let's go ahead and and take our lines away we don't need all these lines anymore we could just go ahead and go back well actually we can keep them i could just look at the one i got it's his beard shape so watch this now what i'll do here okay watch come here Okay, come over here. Okay, come over here. Okay, and then, all right. So you can see we got a good little picture here. Now, what I what, what I would do in this picture, once again, is I would when I'm coloring the hair in, I might add a little bit more depth to the hair. You know what I'm saying? I might add a little bit more fullness to the top of the hair, but still, it's a really cool caricature. Now, all I have to do here, once I'm once I'm uh, finished, I realize that my cartoon is, is, is going to be seen in, in, in phases. So you have your line phase and then you have your shadow and contrast phase, which is just as important as you drawing lines. So here, I'm starting to darken in those little features that give contour to the face, like beards. The reason that people wear a beard, obviously, is they want to change the shape of their face. Okay. That's why people wear makeup, because they want to change what their face looks like, how you perceive the shapes of their face. Okay, like you see some people wear them long eyelashes of girls. They had their eyelashes so long they'd be out here, right? It's because it changes the shape of their eyes. You wear dark makeup around your eyes, your eye color looks lighter. You know what I'm saying? People wear light colored contacts to, make to change the way you look. You get what I'm saying? So same thing. All right. So uh, let me see here. Now, we got this pretty much lick, right? See how easy this was to draw? Now, all we have to do 
I'll add a little bit of darkness under the chin. That's just my little trade thing that I like to do there. Um, as far as uh, adding more fullness to the hair, because I can do that. Watch this. All I have to do is use these, use some more lines up here. And nobody knows what I did. If I'm drawing live, nobody knows that, right? Now I come back and I use my crayon or my gray, right? Let me see here. I got gray. A little Crayola marker or pencil or whatever you like to shadow with. And then I'll come back and I'll start doing my shadow work. Okay, so this is the third phase of my drawing. Okay, this is, I'm not in a rush to see the end when I'm starting. I have to I understand that the picture comes in in phases. Okay, so don't get frustrated when you don't see it right off the top with your line. Some people will see me drawing, they'll be like, man, when you first started, I couldn't see the face. I was like, man, you messing up. And then when I got to the end, they were like, oh, because that's like trying to build a house and then as soon as you put up the frame, you want to see that the whole house is done, right? That that don't make any sense, right? Okay, actually, I saw that hair shape a little different, but anyway, I still can do this right here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't have to be perfect, right? See, see what I'm saying? Nobody really knows what I did there. It just looks like I just, you know, did something cool. This is a crayon right here, right? Right? And then we'll come over here, over here. And then we'll come here and just kind of shadow these in and shadow this in here. Okay. All right. Hey, thanks, Iona. Thank you. How are you today? Okay. And then we put our shoulders. And voila, we got a pretty good picture. If we want to step, take it a step further, um, we can use this marker here. And this will add some dark. You can go real dark on this part right here sometimes. We see how that makes it look right just like that, okay? So I just, you know. Okay. So there you have it, right? We got a pretty good picture no problems right nothing complicated here unless you make it complicated <laughs> you got to keep it from being complicated right all right so i'm gonna let you guys go ahead and try to kind of piece that together right there if you're trying to draw along with me that's the whole purpose of this this is not the Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate guys to go ahead and give us a like. Also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas. You know, it's always good to have new, fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos. Oh, and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here. So guys, thanks again for your love and support of our channel. You guys be safe out there. And as always, guys, I wish you happy cartooning.